Graham, just your reaction to the ace? Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, I haven't saw the replay yet, but, uh, you know, I'd, I'd sort of taken my eye off the ball because I was just fairly relieved that it was online. Um, with so it, was I. <laughs> <laughs> I think my partner was reasonably relieved as well. Um, you know, this golf course is so great because there's so many opportunities, but there's, there's half a dozen shots where you have to stand up and hit a shot, and uh, 17 is obviously one of those today. And I was kind of between clubs. I was between a four and a three, and I just felt like three was, you know, it's a hybrid and it's a, it's pretty strong. And I just felt like it was a lot of club. And I decided to try and hit a four and, you know, pitch it in the, the front half of the green and, and and sort of you know, take my medicine and get out of there. And it came out perfectly. And I think I said to it, somehow get up, like as and get back there to the flag and. I picked my tee up and walked over to the bag, and I could hear the crowd starting to go. And you know, obviously, when it dropped in, my my playing partner mugged me, and my caddies all attacked me. And uh, you know, I I was like I say, I was in a sort of state of disbelief because I was just relieved to get the ball on dry land there. And uh, yeah, it was cool. It was a nice little shot in the arm for us. And uh, you know, we birdied the next, and you know, we uh, put ourselves in a in a nice little slot going into the weekend. Really enjoyed playing with this guy this week. It's been a lot of fun. He's been a you know, breath of fresh air and some great intensity and energy for me this week. So, uh, you know, really enjoying ourselves. Uh, first on the PGA Tour, how many do you have just in casual golf? Um, you know, I think my running totals are on 14. Um, I don't make, I don't, it's weird. The better I get, the, the fewer I make. I'm not sure what it is. You know, I felt like I made more when I was a kid. I'm not sure what you're like, but uh, I guess, um, you know, playing easier courses, that's probably what it was. You know, when you're a kid, you're playing easier golf courses and a lot more wedges in your hand. Get out in the PGA Tour, 200 and 220-yard par threes, uh, it's tough to make them. Um, but uh, I think competitively, that's about my fifth. Uh, but obviously, like you say, my first in the PGA Tour, and it was a, it's a sweet one, obviously. It means I can share the barbell with mm -hmm. Matty as well, which is uh, <laughs> great. I think we, I think we sent a few beers over to the caddy, uh, over to the caddy tent, and we sent a few beers to the media center as well, just in case you guys are thirsty. I'm happy to pay off. <laughs> we, we we thank you for that, uh, Matt. Have you ever celebrated someone else's shot that much? You were uh, no, up. absolutely not. But it was deserved because it was such a good shot. You know, it was, it was playing tough. I knew the yardage. I knew Graham's distances that he was hitting with those clubs and. I thought if he could get this somehow to the front edge, it's going to release up, and three on that hole is a, is a great score. Uh, but it's such a good shot that the better he hit it, the further back it would get, and then we'd have a chance at a two, and then it went in, and Euphoria kind of went after that, and it was such a good shot, it deserved to go in for me. Uh, don't want to spoil the mood here, but it's not official. What does that What's mean? What's official? Like on the PGA Tour. So nah, it counts. That counts. It's, it's official. I don't care if it's yeah. official, unofficial. <laughs> I don't that, care. It's number 14, I'm, I'm and pretty it's probably sure the it, best one. It says, it says one on the scorecard. And like a little side note, the interesting thing is that we played Callaway most of the day <laughs> because Matty's, you know, was a little uncomfortable changing balls this week. So we decided to play his most of the week. That was the first time the Shrick song was in play today <laughs> on 17. And so, uh, you know, just a shameless sponsor plug there. Just <laughs> is, is there enough Guinness in New Orleans for tonight's celebration? Uh, I think we'll, you know, we'll be behaving ourselves tonight. We, uh, we, we, do, tournament to win, we do know a nice Italian restaurant with some fine red wine. We may have a glass of wine, but yeah. so we'll, save the, uh, we'll save the celebrations. Hopefully for Sunday night, you know, we'd love to, uh, we'd love to compete this weekend. That's what's special about this tournament. Why Zurich have done such a good job here is that, you know, they've created an environment where you can get two you know, uh, competitors who get a chance to experience this together and uh, hopefully have a chance to win a tournament and, and go down to some back nine on Sunday, you know, sharing that experience. Do you think this experience, playing foursomes, can help um, for Ryder Cup late, maybe later this year? Yeah, I mean, this guy's going to play many Ryder Cups, no doubt about it, and I think uh, stuff like this is really important because I, I, I genuinely believe there should be a 72-hole stroke uh, foursomes tournament, alternate shot tournament, just pure alternate shot. Because I, I kind of believe it's like the purest form of the game, and so there's nothing, there's nothing more difficult than, you know, having to hit one and then hand it over to your partner and then have him hand it back to you. You know, it's, uh, it, it really is, uh, it's a fun game, and uh, you know, to me, it's something I think the Europeans are pretty good at in the Ryder Cup generally because, you know, we play a lot of it growing up actually, like in, in international golf. Uh, in amateur golf, you know, so um, I think it's a, I think it's a great format, and you know, like I say, it's it's nerve-wracking, um, but I think 
this guy's going to play plenty of Ryder Cups, and th these weeks are really important for him to uh, to get ready for those days. And Graham, uh, how old, what, what was when was the first hole in one? I think I was around 14 or 15. Sunday medal, uh, Rathmore. Um, you know, and I, I kind of had like a. I kind of had like a solid four ball on the weekend, you know, with three three adults, and we always split the twos. You know, you put a put a pound in for the twos, yeah. and you split the balls. But you hold one, you win all the balls. Yeah. So, you know, my four ball was very happy with me. And, <laughs> you can uh, remember yeah. it? Yeah, I, I remember it. It was uh, it was on number three at the valley and at Rathmore nine iron, <laughs> little Thanks, baby guys. cup nine iron in. <laughs> oh.